Let's say that you're not a total beginner. You do have a website, right? You have a Facebook page and you are generating some reviews. You're making sure to ask your valued clients for those five star reviews. Um, what are three things that anybody watching this video can go do right now to uh, improve their presence online? We know now that you know the internet has kind of evolved over time, that content is king. Um, and it's the same thing is true in SEO and, and just in digital presence in general for a business or person. Um, if you don't have content or you have really poor content, you're going to lose. Um, so like John doing his videos is a great way to build his brand and get connected with people on a whole other level. Um, so I would start with videos. Um, Even if it's be, just like selfie videos yeah, or um, doing it on your iPhone. Yeah, I mean, well, the iPhone or cell phones in general have come a long way. Um, in fact, sometimes they shoot better than a digital camera. So yeah. um, for right now, we're actually shooting on iPhones. So you guys didn't know nice. that, but we're shooting on an iPhone yep. and this is going to come out great. So you wouldn't even notice um, if, if we were shooting on like a crazy 4K camera or an iPhone. So definitely um, you can create content. It doesn't have to be like formal and like sitting down like us. You could literally turn the camera around and just shoot a selfie video um, about whatever you're doing as a person or from the company's perspective. And if you aren't on YouTube, start doing more YouTube videos. There's a huge reward in putting your video content on YouTube um, because you not only are searchable directly in Google because it's you know owned by, by Google, um, but you're also searchable within YouTube. So if anyone's looking for, for instance, John and his insurance videos, if any types of insurance, like do's and don'ts, they might get a video of the point insurance and they're like, wow, this is my insurance company. I'm gonna call these guys. And, and was, you can put direct call to actions on YouTube videos too. So um, you can definitely get traffic to your site or a phone call. The second thing in content um, would definitely be blogging. Um, and you might think, oh, like if I just put up a short blog post, like someone will actually read it. Um, but realistically, you should be creating long form content, like really solid information. Um, because the person might not be reading it, but they would be searching for it. So if you're doing like a Buzzfeed, they, they do a really good job at this. Um, you know, the 10 things you didn't know you should do this summer. Mm -hmm. And clickbait. You, yeah, it's, sometimes it is clickbait, yeah. which you can't blame them. Um, right. And I'm guilty of that. Yeah, on it. absolutely, me too. And those, those um, blog posts really are great because they cover a whole slew of content so any of those 10 things could be searchable um, from Google. So you could end up on that page. You might kind of scroll through until you find what you actually want to see. Um, right. And they and don't just list the 10 things. There's some solid yeah. content under each yeah, one. They, right? they might, know, it probably ends up over a thousand words. So it takes time. Yeah, to, to write a good Writing a good blog takes time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, um, but it, it's well worth it. It reaps rewards. Yeah, for sure. And if you're going to shoot that video and it pertains to the same topic you're going to write about in a blog, embed the video on that page of the site. I mean, that can reap huge rewards for you too. It yeah. Well, a few of yet. our pages, we've definitely put um, videos on and that's what we've actually been working with uh, Taylor and his company on is um, creating videos that are tailored, no pun intended, to the content <laughs> on our website, right? So yeah. that we can post it on YouTube yeah. and you know, um, keyword, the YouTube, you know, make the title of the YouTube video the same as the title of that web page. Yeah. The tags in the YouTube description are very similar to the content of that page and embed it there, backlink it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully when somebody's searching for that, uh, it's just that much stronger because there's a video there to support the right. web page content too. And a lot of times people might not want to read the content, so they'll watch the video. So you'll get them right. one of two ways um, in that regard. So those yep. are the first two things. The last thing um, that I'll briefly touch upon in kind of the, the overall idea here of, you know, things you can do if you already have a presence is repurposing content. I mean, you don't have to continually recreate things. If you shoot a long video, piece it out and take 15 seconds of that video and put it on Instagram. Take 30 seconds of a minute and 30 video and put it on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, you know, or just take things from that, you know, 10 things blog post and put them as, you know, 
um, posts on Facebook. You know, you might use that long form created content and utilize it again uh, on a Facebook post and maybe you take each of the 10 things and put 10 different posts together. Um, so, it, I mean, there's different tools out there to help you and make things easier, um, quicker, um, to really kind of boost your presence and hopefully get you more business. Obviously, that's the usually the goal. Awesome. So for, uh, I guess we kind of did the beginner and then the more advanced little, segment, yeah. right? So, so the beginners, it's, you know, make sure you're online, right? Get yourself a presence. Yeah. And then once you have a presence, start creating content, creating your own content that supports your brand. Right. Uh, so that's awesome. I think we've got some good, definitely some good tips here for anybody who's trying to improve their presence online. Yeah. Really appreciate it, Shane. Thanks. Thank you.